I'll let you start. Okay, mm -hmm. ladies first. As everybody keeps insisting. I don't know who made that rule. Well, probably was a woman. Probably. My name is Mavorning Varko Ryan, and I play the part of Madge in the Games of Hood. And my name is Jan Schmitz, and I play the role of Felix Geisel in the Games of Hood. I've had a fair bit of experience with, with raps in particular. Um, I've done some directing, and I've done some acting. I've been on and off the stage, and I have a little bit of experience in film as well. I've been doing this kind of stuff for a while. That's it? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can brag a bit if you like. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, I have no real formal training in acting or in theater. My only real experience with acting has been with uh, Winding Rivers Arts and Performance Society. I've been in several of their plays now that I think about it, uh, going back to 2013 maybe. Uh, mostly small roles, bit parts. Uh, I did have the role of Alfred P. Doolittle in My Fair Lady, which was interesting, to say the least, but uh, I'm enjoying... If I may interject, you did a fantastic job in My Fair Lady as Doolittle. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> you don't have to say that, but, I, but thank you anyways. Um, Mavorni directed it, so she would know. Uh, so yes, that's been all my experience in, in, uh, in, in kind of acting. So playing the part of Madge um, has been a little bit challenging. She is uh, different than me, um, for sure. She's quite, she's quite dramatic, and I think that her endearing qualities might be uh, how much she loves her husband, played by Jan. And um, she's very dramatic, always the actress. And I think there's something underlying there in a backstory that I'm still trying to figure out. As we've still got a couple of weeks, I'm going to figure it out and see what her backstory might be. And I think that one of her least redeeming features is that she likes to hit her husband. <laughs> her husband might agree. <laughs> um, my character, uh, Felix Geisel, is a veteran of the, of the stage. This takes place in the 1930s. Uh, he and his wife, Madge, who he's devoted to, uh, are both uh, veterans of the stage, probably with a lot of Shakespearean background. They tend to uh, start quoting Shakespeare out of the, out of the blue. Um, Felix is, been, is described as, by the author as histrionic and arch in a Lionel Barrymore sort of way. But I don't play him that way because I don't really know what histrionic means. But uh, the character is quick, he's sharp, he's got lots of one-liners, he's a bit over the top because of his, probably of his long uh, years of acting on stage. But uh, throughout the, the play, his confidence and cockiness takes a, a bit of a beating as things start unwinding uh, less than his, uh, his control and his comfort zone likes. I am a little challenged in developing uh, Madge uh, because, because I don't, I'm not too sure what her underlying um, deal is. And um, anyway, I'm really enjoying it. It's a really good challenge to have. And I'm getting there, figuring her out. Uh, yeah, Felix is uh, actually, in some ways, he's quite a bit like me personally. He's a bit of a smart ass and got the one-liners going and going for the laugh all the time. Um, but the, the main challenge has been just uh, learning the lines and knowing where to move, when to move, what to say, how to say it, uh, which I guess most actors go through. But the, this play particularly, there's a lot of physicality involved in, so there's a lot of movement 
and a lot of uh, stuff going on while lines are being said, which I find interesting and challenging. You have a lot more of that than I do, and <laughs> yes, it is, it is challenging. Yeah. I've had so much fun working with this cast and crew so far, to date. Um, we know that this script is funny, when after we have been rehearsing it for weeks already, we, have, we know the lines and we know they're coming, and we're still laughing our heads off. So it's really easy to have so much fun with it. So I'm really having a lot of fun, and there's a nice variation of experience with this cast. Some people have not done any theater before, some have done quite a bit of theater, and so uh, being a part of the learning experience for others uh, is really rewarding. So there's that. Yes, as uh, Mavorning uh, said, uh, this has been probably the funniest thing I've done for a long time. Uh, it, is a funny, it is a funny play. As I said, uh, uh, my character has a lot of good one-liners, but so does everybody else in the play. Everybody's got something funny and witty to say, and every time they say it, we know it's coming, as Mavorning said, but we laugh anyways, probably because it's delivered differently than the last time it was uh, done, as we're learning, learning the, uh, the play. Um, but, uh, as I said, this is the moving around and um, trying to remember where you're supposed to be when and what you're supposed to say at what time is uh, probably the, the biggest challenge, but the, the biggest fun of it has been with this uh, crew. Uh, they are, some of them are very experienced, um, Mavorning especially, uh, and our lead uh, uh, character, um, Richard and uh, Nancy and a lot of the crew has got a lot of experience not only on stage but uh, on movies and film and the rest of us are just kind of taking our cues from them and seeing what they do and trying to be inspired from that and it really has been inspiring to, to do that so um, we are all we're, we're all going to do this is something we're all going to remember for a long time I'm sure as every other play that we've all been involved in it ha has been. I will also add that I have great admiration for the crew that is putting up the set. No sneak peeking, but I'm telling you, it's really coming together and it's going to be phenomenal. I find this script really funny. As much as it's really challenging, there's a lot of technical stuff, a lot of timing that has to be just bang on for the, for the humor to work. Um, if we pull this off, and I think we will, I think it's going to be great because the script stands on its own. It's, it's a good script. Yeah, I agree. The script is, it's, it's a multitude of, uh, of different things wound into, it's a farce, it's a comedy, it's a mystery, it's a sort of a horror play. It's, it's got many, many facets to it and it's well written by Ken Ludwig, who is a uh, famous American playwright. And yeah, it's, it's interesting. As we, as, at least as I look deeper into it, I'm learning more about what the characters are like, what the time frame uh, must have been like, and uh, uh, it's, it's a learning experience and a lot of fun. Yes, uh, this is going to be a lot, of, a lot of fun for us, and we know that the audience will, will pick up on that because if we're having fun, they'll have fun. I really think you need to come and see the games afoot because of everything that we've said so far, in that it's a well-written script, we're having so much fun, you're bound to have fun, and support local theatre. Being able to now, after the worst of the COVID pandemic is over, to come again and sit in a theatre and experience live theatre in front of you, it's, uh, it's not to be missed. So, come see it. Uh, I'll have to, to, to agree. Uh, everybody should come to it, should see live theater generally, um, and of course local, and support local live theater and live theater groups specifically. Uh, I was just talking to someone the other day. Uh, we've all had the feeling of somebody being in the room with us and when we don't see them, there's a certain, there's a certain presence we can pick up. Um, that goes with social groups. So if you're watching a movie, the people you're seeing on the movie aren't there. We, in the back of our minds, we know that. We know they're just images. They're just reflections. They're just light. But in theater, the people you're seeing are as much flesh and blood as you are. 
and any anything that the audience gives to the to the cast, the cast will give back to the audience, and we all become part of the the production, not just the people on the stage or the crew. So. With that philosophical meandering, I think the other way, reason you should come is just to have a lot of fun. Come and support local uh, local theater. You've all seen Rapt's presentations before. They've all been fantastic, from what people tell us. So, and this one's going to be equally as good and equally as fun and well worth your coming out. So, we really look forward to seeing you there. We really look forward to entertaining you and, and doing this together. Exactly. <laughs> but. <laughs> but, 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 but. <laughs>